Yes. And that was always a big part of it. The combination of pharma working with big government was written about 60, 70 years ago. That was always their goal. A compliant, obedient population. Absolutely. Remember that movie THX, the 700, they called it. THX 1138, which is a... Uh, which Fantastic portrayal. That's what they're actually planning. That's that's by George Lucas, his his thesis film with Robert Duvall, based ba for those that don't know, based on Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, which is actually the plan. It is the plan. It, it absolutely is the plan because Aldous Huxley was in on the big think tank meetings with his brother Julian Huxley, both descended from the Darwin clan, by the way. Oh, he gave his last speech before they probably killed him in 62. He just laid it all out at Berkeley. So this is all the plan. This yep. is real. And he, and he said, and he because said, we're so smart, you listening in the audience won't even be able to stop him. That's right. And it's a small group of men, very powerful, rich, powerful men, uh, with the use of pharmacology and, and a good plan could literally take over and rule the entire planet to their satisfaction. Why do you think over 30% of police officers admit that they're on steroids? Yes. They actually need it because they've been gelded. I, yeah, I want the police who serve this to know. You are being chemically attacked, chemically lobotomized. Why do you serve the New World Order? Because you're drugged right now and under a trance from television. This is Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, I said I'd take calls today when Alan Watt was on with us. We're going to open the phones up here in just a few minutes at 1-800-259-9231. Dustin in PA, Justin in Montana, Mark in Maui. Wish I was there, but I can't ever fly there. I'm not going to be naked body scanned. No, I'm going to still fly, but I'm not going to let them scan me. Ken and Mass and others. What do you think you're doing? Because you're given authority and a tin badge. You're going to put me in a naked body scanner. They wouldn't even scan Iraqis with. And I was talking to man Kyle Muller on his syndicated show. They tried to uh, do a bunch of stuff to him. The TSA guy marched up and started going, hmm. Mm, mm, with his wife and children, and he said, well, talk to me. And the guy said, mm, and, and he said, talk to me. And the guy said, that's it, you're missing your flight. I want you to put that book, he had Atlas Shrugged in his hand, on the scanner, th through the thing. And he said, put him in the box, put him in there, and they were like, you're missing your flight. So he started yelling, this is a police state, this is wrong, this is a fraud. And they said, get out of here, get out of here. They didn't want to scare the other slaves. They want to see you dominated, but not see you stand up. Alan Watt. Oh, that's absolutely true. Um the last thing you want is the want is to make a, a coherent, uh, accurate statement uh, and, and shouting out to the rest of the public what's actually happening. You've got to shout out sometimes and break the spell and tell them what is actually happening here uh, and make them, get them, make them indignant and afraid. I've also noticed, I want your comment on this, at Disneyland or at, uh, at all the other uh, major theme parks, uh, things like SeaWorld, you pay for your ticket, and then you walk up and they go, oh, you have to handprint with that ticket you bought. And then I refuse, and they let me through as soon as I start yelling. Uh, and, and everyone else, it's the same thing at the airport. You buy your ticket, you go through, and they go, body scanner, put your kids in there. And then they and all these photos on the news, we were showing them yesterday, when they put these women in the scanners, it shows the guys smiling, looking at their naked bodies. Of course, yeah. yeah. Because that that humiliation is important. Oh, absolutely. And there's no doubt about it. They, they, they already see themselves. They can't keep anything secret that's on the net. Uh, they've, they've had so many scandals in Britain with Social Security numbers being sold by the millions from the government to uh, private companies. You can believe you me. They're going to have, the next big thing is going to be porno, new porn across the Internet worldwide uh, of everybody's uh, body scanner uh, silhouette and all the rest of it. This is and then they'll have an investigation and reward whoever allowed it to happen. In fact, they're already saying the Hollywood bodies are going to go for big cash. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and people are obsessed today with sex as well because it's been promoted over uh, any rationale, meaning of of uh, sex itself, 
or, or, or even the fact that, that, that sexual bonding between two people used to mean a, a good, healthy family would come out of it. Now, not, not the promised duty you have today, and, and it's all taken so lightly on television with the reality shows, which is all about that. No bonding at all, just have sex. So that's why they're hitting the public now with this. They've degraded the public from the last uh, generation to the present generation, and really they've been degrading the public since oh, the 50s onwards quite steadily. And so, and that way the man and woman now. don't stay together and the state ends up getting the children effectively. Absolutely. And that's, again, what they, they said they'd have to do a long time ago. If we can get the children separated from the parents through scientific indoctrination from kindergarten onwards, that the, their minds are ours. They, but then if you try to homeschool your kids, they come and arrest you now with trumped-up, made-up stuff. Well, in the, in the Italian newspapers uh, a few months ago, the prime minister of, Ita of Italy said uh, there's an outright ban now on all whole homeschooling. He said the reason is, he says, every child must have the exact same indoctrination. Those were the words. Yeah, and here they call it socialization. Story. Yep. It's indoctrination into the new PC uh, terminology to alter your way of thinking about things for that generation to grow up in. It's and anyone that doubts that, that, that standardized programming they're being given so they can have their social control, California two years ago had their court rule it got overturned in a federal court, and we read it here on air. It said the state actually owns your children. You're not allowed to homeschool. Yes, that's right. And Hillary Clinton, who uh, ran on that ticket as well, that she would abolish all homeschooling, as a must be for all the big top communists. I'll loosely call them communists for the world um, to bring in the system of standardized. It would be better that your children get no education at all than to be put in public schools. Go ahead. Absolutely, because, uh, again, for, for the wonderful utop utopia of socialism and a passive society, the, the children all must parrot the same things, all believe the same things, or having, having sex with an animal is good, uh, and all this, this is all was coming up in the, in the very new... And take three years ago, yeah. the, the new Freedom Initiative got leaked, Bush signed it four years ago, the, the internal documents from the federal board came out, this was in the Associated Press, but like it was a good thing... They said, we've got 20% of kids on government-issued drugs now. By 2015, we want 50%. Yeah. And then in the decade after that, 100% on drugs. 100% mm -hmm. with forced inoculations, 100% on the drugs. And those drugs will be, will be for life. So you have a whole generation on drugs for life, just like the movie we mentioned there, T, uh, the THX movie, just like that. And you'll get put into a workplace, you'll be tested for your urine all day long, you'll get blood tests to make sure you've taken all your proper drugs and medications, there'll be punishments if you haven't, and that will become normal. Yeah. And what's sick about it is you read UN and government documents that we've covered in detail here, there's literally thousands of them, and then everybody kept saying I should see the movie Equilibrium, yep. and I saw it, and that's actually what they're setting up. They just throw in our faces what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also predictive programming because uh, predictive pro programming is, is a strange thing because when you're being entertained, you don't realize you're also being indoctrinated with an idea and you're not passing judgment while you're watching entertainment because the sensor part of your brain is not involved. So therefore it stays in your subconscious and then when you hear it's coming out into reality, they're actually going to do this. It's familiar to you, and therefore it's, n it's not such a big deal. Uh, you go along with it. That's what predictive programming is all about. We know 40 years ago they had these passive MRI body scanners, and now they're saying, oh, we've got to scan into your body. It took them two days to do that after I said they would because that's their program. Remember Total Recall with Schwarzenegger and yeah. all these other science fiction movies where when you go through the airport, men in black ski mask run you through a system that's, that scans your naked body. Oh, yeah, and the book that it came from was written in 1966. I just can't believe. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it would start accelerating. But, Alan, do you ever just pinch yourself to witness it and to know this is just the beginning? I'm, I'm never shocked, to be honest with you. I, I, I know what's to come up. I know, I know in the next 50 stages it is to come up in the next 20 years. Uh, so I'm never shocked. I, I always I read their books. I know how they work. 
I know they keep the pulse on the public. They know when the public are now ready for the next move. And this is how I just can't believe how pathetic the public are. Uh, it's, I, I, you've got to realize, too, that 87%, as I say, from World War War One on, with the same tests, uh, 87% never really disbelieve the major media. They never question the whys. They believe government telling them the truth. They can't believe that big lies are told to get us into wars and stuff. That's just too big a lie, so it must be true. Um, and those, those are the ones they concentrate on. That's why they pick, by the way, democracy. Democracy is not ruled by the mob. It's that the mob will always be easily conditioned by the, the minority who rule them. Alan, go over the next several phases. Well, the, the Copenhagen uh, Agreement, what they agreed to was the most important thing of all. And I knew that they would, and I mentioned it. I said, uh, they'll agree to agree to the next phases of the upgraded uh, Copenhagen Agreement. And then leave it nebulous so they can do whatever they wanted. 